This is what legal cannabis looks like on an industrial scale. With 40 staff and plans to hire 60 more, this is big business. This is a cannabis plant and it's one of 3,000 in this greenhouse. Overall, uh, we have another 10,000 plants growing outdoors as well, uh, so 13,000 at the moment. Today is harvest day in a greenhouse designed to grow the best cannabis flowers possible. So every one of these plants is a clone uh, and that is how we're controlling the consistency of the output. For CEO Dan Howard, the pungent smell and the sight of so much cannabis is normal. He's recently moved from Canada, where cannabis is legal. So from the medical market of all the uh, adult use market and that has now proliferated across the country uh, with thousands and thousands of stores uh, and, and hundreds of producers producing uh, government controlled, taxed uh, and uh, high quality cannabis across the country. Do you see what happened in Canada also occurring here in Australia? Uh, I believe Australia is on a similar path. Confidence in the future of the market has companies spending big. Millions of dollars in development means this company is about to upgrade from this greenhouse to this one. To date, most medicinal cannabis consumed in Australia has been imported from overseas. But industry says this is changing as patient access to product is streamlined and new regulation levels the playing field for domestic producers. Josie Hamlet, who manages compliance, says these changes are a good start, but the rules are complex and inconsistent. There's been a lot of permit and licence reforms, which has definitely made our life easier here. Instead of having like three licences, and six permits where the, they've all been rolled into one. Ultimately, this complexity impacts people like Peter Fielding, who was diagnosed with esophagus cancer two years ago. He's been using medicinal cannabis and says the drug works wonders. It doesn't save your life, but it certainly helps to extend it. I was given four months. I'm now up to 23 months in about five days. Not that I'm counting. Mr Fielding says getting it remains difficult and expensive. Even though it's legal now, try finding somebody who can prescribe it legally. Try finding one. It's still a problem. A growing industry for a growing need. David Barnock-Clement, ABC News.